During her undergraduate years, Kylie McDevitt believed she was being tracked by someone when she swiped through a profile on Tinder. She discovered that the profile purported to be that of a Philadelphia Eagles football player after digging up the person in the photos. Jason Kels was first introduced to Kylie when she accepted the Tinder match's request to meet at a pub. The date did not go well, she stated on the New Heights podcast. Well, his profile at the time was something like, I want to have deep, meaningful conversations and talk about getting married and having kids or something like that. He was too drunk and fell asleep on the bar table 45 minutes after I arrived. Years later, Kylie and Jason are happy parents of three kids, and their lives are frequently publicized in the media due to documentaries and the public's interest with Travis Kells and Taylor Swift's connection. Although Kylie and the other members of the Kells family were unprepared for their sudden rise to fame, they have been in the public eye ever since Travis and Swift's romance became viral. Being in the spotlight or in front of the camera isn't really my thing. Kylie stated earlier this month in Kansas City. During college, I majored in communication. Regarding the cameras, she remarked, I love to be behind it. That's my bread and butter. Naturally, despite being a celebrity in the NFL, her husband plays offensive line, which isn't exactly a flashy or well-known job. Jason asked her if he may have another chance after their disastrous first date over the phone the following day. Kylie concurred, stating that he performed far better on the second attempt. In November 2015, the couple decided to make their romance Instagram official. Kylie wrote, Thank goodness you swiped right too, as the caption. In April of 2018, Kylie and Jason Kels hitched the knot at a neighborhood hotel in Philadelphia, where Kylie grew up and Jason played football. The Kels family welcomed Wyatt Elizabeth Kels, a baby girl into their home more than a year later. They had originally intended for Wyatt to be a boy's name and Charlotte to be a girl's name, Jason revealed to reporters, but the Kelses were persuaded by others that Wyatt was a great name regardless of gender after a friend named their daughter Charlotte. Elliot Ray Kels was born on March 4, 2021, making Wyatt the elder sister. Jason was busy preparing to play Travis in Super Bowl Levy while Kylie was expecting Bennett Llewellyn, their third child. She brought her two OBGYNs to the Super Bowl with her in case she needed to give birth during the game because she was so anxious about it. Bennett was born on February 23 of this year, 11 days after Kylie's birth, even if she didn't give birth in Arizona. Even though Jason was present, Kylie mockingly referred to him on TikTok as a tremendous support after catching him napping. Although Kylie acknowledges that Jason is a very devoted father, she finds it annoying that he loves to show the kids the Disney Aladdin. From the moment Kylie joined the Kels family, she has only had positive things to say about the close-knit community. I was outside at first because I'm married, she stated in an interview with ABC. What's most incredible is that I was greeted with open arms. Even before he started dating Taylor, Kylie gave Travis some dating tips regarding his Tinder profile photos. Travis said, KY, do you think I should go stash or no stash? She told him to use the picture of the mustache after joking that her response might sound a little harsh and adding, if they'd swipe right at your worst, then they'll love you at your best. But because he's dating Swift, a resident of the Philadelphia area, Travis doesn't have to worry about it anymore because Kylie is her partner. Even if their love story is the focus of constant rumors and conjecture, they may look to Jason, Kylie, and the rest of this Kels family for stability, contentment, and possibly even inspiration.